Yo, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. If you guys did not know the new Spiral Abyss is out, I will be reviewing uh, Floor 11 and 12. Now there won't be like a team composition guide because a lot of people do have a lot of different units built out. So uh, I will try to just do a playthrough and give as many tips and tricks as possible while I'm uh, doing them. And uh, I really hope this video helps you guys out. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with Floor 11. Now, if you guys do have any cryo damage dealers, make sure you do bring them for this uh, floor. Also, you will be losing your energy recharge throughout the fight. Now, unfortunately, this does not tell you how many monsters there are in every fight. So, I will make sure to record all of those and put them on the screen. Alright, so for this one, your first team just needs cryo, claymore, or geo, and uh, electro. Alright, so... I do remember for this one, it is pretty annoying because you got to defend the middle uh, thing. So Venti would be useful. I don't know if this team is going to work, honestly, because I don't have a healer. But it does cover the Electro, the Geo, and the Cryo. Well, the Claymore and the Cryo. And the two units I need for uh, Floor 11 Chamber 2. So I'm gonna see how this works. I have to be obviously a little careful. I do have Black Sword on Kaching, so she does get a little bit of healing. But uh, I want to see how this turns out. And for my other team, I can just throw pretty much whatever in here. Uh, Xingqiu and Zhongli can pretty much give enough healing for the rest of my units. So I'm gonna try this for the first floor and see what happens. I do like using the for chamber one and two I do like using the blue buffs so I have an easier shot in uh, chamber three Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to kill all these guys with just Sucrose and Venti because my kitchen can't really do much on this floor. Pretty smooth for the first half. Now for this one, we don't have anything to group them up, but I don't think it really matters. So for this one, it's just six of this guy, which is not too bad. So I definitely recommend getting a Geo or a Claymore character for this one. And that's that for chamber one. Right, I am going to attack. Just because I don't think I need the max HP for now. It will be useful in jungle, but the trouble is this team right here. That's really bad. But she did do her job, so I think I'm just gonna keep going with this run. Alright, it didn't go as well as I hoped, so I'm just gonna hope this one goes better because I think with this one is I don't have anything to group them up with. 
so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get uh, three stars in this stage. Yeah, they're just ignoring me. That's unfortunate. Well, it was close, but... I think you guys get the point. Alright, not too bad to get two stars. If you guys do have one more character that can just uh, taunt or something like Ganyu or Amber, I just got Ganyu's now, yeah, but. Or maybe just group them up so you can do Sucrose on one stage and Venti on one stage. Uh, but definitely. Uh, 11 chamber 2 is one of the hardest ones to get uh, decent stars in. This part went pretty smooth, so let's see what I can do with the other team. You just need DPS and you'll be okay. One thing I hate about these mages is that the aimbot in this game sometimes goes to the little birds. Alright, so chamber 1 and 3 are pretty straightforward. The more damage you have, the faster you'll do it. Of course, you do have to have the required elements for the Fatuis. Uh, if you guys do want a 3 star chamber 2, I do rec uh, recommend just getting 3 stars on 1 and 3. And then going back and uh, making a team just for chamber 11 and 2. And uh, once you get 3 stars on that, you actually don't lose the other, th the other uh, 3 stars in other chambers. So you don't even have to worry about getting the right elements. You can just do a team solely for chamber 11, I mean chamber 2. And uh, that way you can 3 star all of uh, floor 11. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with floor 12. And uh, we're going to see how that one works out. Alright, so now we do have the floor 12 for Abyss. Now guys, this is so much easier than last season. Last season I was barely getting like 4 to 5 stars. And this season, I just 8 started on my first try, so uh, definitely a lot easier. And I only have Zhang Li, so it's not like I have Albedo or MC build out. So if you guys do have either of those build out, you guys are going to have such an easy time with floor 12. But uh, let's just take a look at the stages. Uh, this is no big deal at all. Uh, I, the Storm, get one uh, Archer, so this should be no problem. Uh, maybe a Venti here. I don't remember how many there is. I will make sure to uh, look back at the VOD and just record all the monsters. Uh, for this one, it is not one monster only. I think it's like four Fatui Pyro Agents. And this one is just more just normal stuff. Like, not Fatui's. That's the only thing that really matters. Not Fatui's. So you can run whatever elements you want. And the only thing you really need is a bow user on the second team. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw... Just a normal team, so we'll go Kaching, get a healer, a DPS, and maybe another DPS. No, actually, I do want on my second team. 
So I'll just put in Ching Shu. And for this team, put Zhang Li for the Geo Residence. Uh, Faisal, and then Venti, because why not? Yeah, we'll just do this. It's for extra damage. I want to do this as fast as I can for the stars. So, this one's pretty straightforward. Just a bunch of mobs. Ah, oh, I should have done the Electro first. Mm, I keep forgetting that when I use Sucrose. Actually, John Glee would be pretty cool here. We'll just break all their shields. Not like they're blocking anyway, so I think it really matters. Yeah, pretty easy, and then you get just three of these, no problem. I forgot to put element for Sucrose again. There he is. Alright, so first part went pretty smoothly. I think the bird still hits it from here, right? Yeah, it does. I keep forgetting Faisal's ult doesn't actually negate damage. And that is it for the first chamber. As you can see, super easy to get three stars. Uh, my team isn't even that built out. I just threw some random stuff on them, and uh, my main DPS are actually using four star artifacts. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the second chamber. This is basically just a bunch of mobs. So all you, this is all basically how fast can you kill these guys. There's no like strategy or anything behind it. It just depends how good your team is. One day I will remember to put an elemental reaction before putting my super ultimate down. Alright, that was very easy, just killing a bunch of mobs, and we're gonna go ahead and see part 2. This probably isn't the best team for this. I forgot these guys have uh, pyro resistance, so I think I should have just put Kaching uh, here instead of the Luke. There you go. And we still three starred. <laughs> right now on to chamber three. I will do a lot of edits because I don't want to make this too long of a video. Ah, oh, the look would have been so good here. This is gonna take a while to kill with my current setup. I think I did the same mistake last time, now that I think about it. Actually, my physical damage does more than my electro damage. This should be easy because I do have two people who can break shields. So next time I'll do this, I'll actually just put uh, Jean Gli on the other team. And I should get a 3 star pretty easily. I'm not gonna use a uh, Zhongli shield right now, just so I can finish this as fast as I can. Alright, and uh, pretty simple, straightforward, not like anything crazy like last season, where you had to have uh, two power characters on both teams that are pretty like high DPS with a healer. Uh, yeah, just uh, get one shield breaker for your first and your second team, so claim more on both teams. 
or maybe a claymore and a Zhongli. Uh, obviously, honestly, you can do a lot of different things for this uh, floor. It's very versatile team composition wise. Uh, just the only difference between you guys getting three stars and one star is just gonna be how good your artifacts are and if you have a claymore in your team or not. But uh, we'll probably do like a nine star clear later in the future. But for now, I really hope this did help you out. I will go back in the video and get all um, the amount of monsters in every stage so if it, uh, so I can help you out. But anyways, that is going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do press like. And if you guys do want to see some more Genshin Impact related content in the future, make sure you sub. It is going to be it for me today. Today.